Hi everyone! Let's talk a little about stretch marks because we've been having a lot of inquiries on stretch marks treatments, no? Usually what we do here are combination treatments, no? Sometimes we do the carboxytherapy wherein you inject a little bit of CO2 to the skin which stimulates collagen and then later on when it stimulates collagen, it will firm the skin and it will make the uh, stretch marks shallower, no? Ngayon naman, if the stretch marks have pigmentation, we have a repigmenting treatment that will bring back the color, no? Kasi usually, nagiging whitey siya or kung pinkish man, we have a laser treatment that will make it more like the normal skin, no? Ngayon, we also have lasers, no? Sometimes, we prefer the lasers over the carboxytherapy. Those who cannot tolerate much, the, the little bit of pain of carboxytherapy, we give them the clear stray laser. Ngayon, ano nga ba atong stretch marks? Stretch marks actually are breaks in the skin, no? So, para siyang scar, no? Kasi what happens is, we have the collagen and elastic fibers. Ngayon, isipin nyo na parang yung mga collagen and elastic fibers na yun are like mga rubber bands, no? When the rubber band is stretched so hard, no? So tightly, no? At mahabang-mahaba, ano? Pwede itong mapatid, no? Ganun din ang ating mga fibers sa ating skin, no? So essentially, these are breaks in the skin, no? So the nice thing about it is, do you know, no? Ito, trivia to, ah. Do you know that the high levels of cortisol can actually uh, have an effect on the elastic fibers. It can break the elastic fibers. Now, what is this cortisol? No? The cortisol is a hormone. It's a stress hormone. So, pansinin nyo kapag kayo stress out, no? you have poor healing in the skin. It affects the appearance of your skin. No? Sometimes you get more oily. And kasama pala dyan, you more tendency to develop stretch marks. Especially if you have a family history of stretch marks. But commonly, ang stretch marks nakikita natin after pregnancy, no? kasi syempre yung sinapupunan is too big, it stretches the abdomen. So usually you have stretch marks kung saan na uh, mayroong pressure no also sa mga lalaki no common yan yung mga nagba bodybuilding no so when they take a lot of mga protein or nagpapalakas sila ng muscles na stretch naman yung kanilang skin dito because of the uh, muscle no yung iba naman sa women no because of the uh, paglaki ng ng boobs no ng kanilang uh, breast no what happens is you get stretch marks also on the sides of the breast and also dun sa inner thighs which is very common especially when you gain weight no another thing that can probably be causing your stretch marks is yung application mo of steroid creams no especially when you have eczema you have constantly have you constantly have eczema Pwede kang laging naglalagay ng mga steroid creams. So, prolonged application of steroid creams, it can thin out the skin, it can give you stretch marks, and the skin usually begins to appear like pinkish and lubog-lubog. So, yon. So, kadalasan kasi, we always think that um, ang cause ng stretch marks ay pagtaba lang, hindi even yung mga pinapahid nyo. Oh yeah. So I hope marami kayong natutunan, although short lang yan. I know this is very important for you. So yung mga merong stretch marks dyan, do not worry because meron pa pong pag-asa. No? Contrary to what uh, yung mga previous beliefs, yung mga noong unang panahon na, ay stretch marks na lang yan, wala ka nang magagawa. Hindi po, marami pa rin po tayong magagawa. <laughs> Mm-hmm.